Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to shave, and we got a couple of new things we're going to use today. We've got a couple of things that Willie sent me, and then something I picked up. This is just a hint. I'm not going to use... Oh, you saw the logo, didn't you? Yeah? I found this today. I'd never seen this before. We're not, oh, not going to use it today, but I'm going to show it to you. Anyway, um, what we're going to use today is something that Willie sent me, the Razor Phoenix Shaving Alpha ecliptic this is the crazy slant top it's got like a roof shape on the front and then the back it's kind of like just a little hump and then the thing the, i don't know what to make of this i don't know what to make of this it's aluminum it's very lightweight it's from phoenix artisan accoutrement shaving it costs 70 dollars uh and willie thank you again for sending this to me now it's based on a German design. They said a very, very old and rare German razor that was made out of Bakelite back in the olden days. And uh, they kind of did some tweaking and this is what they came up with. I just, that's the weirdest shaped head I've ever seen on any razor. So let's try it out. It's a three piece razor, unscrew the handle, unscrew the head, and it's got the little guides there. So that's where you place the blade. The blade I'm gonna use today, just cause I found it, a Bic. I never use Bic. I, I got this little, cluster of, of just loose various blades and I need to start going through them. All right, so here we go. We got the head, we got the blade. Let's put that down there. And they said part of the thing is because this is, it's like slanted and it's twisted, it's torqued and tweaked. And it's, uh, they said one of the things they did for the, the tweak of the design from the original razor uh, was make it more friendly to modern razor blades. So these, you know, it's not gonna, it's got to kind of twist and, and, and flex the blade so much that it, you know, is detrimental to the blade itself. So leave it to the experts. I don't know exactly what they did, but I'm just going to try and shave with it, see how it is. Let me tighten it up. It does have blade overhang, so I don't like to hold on to both sides. I also don't like to hold on to it like this to tighten, which you can do. Slippage. So just grab it, you know, get, get your towel, put the towel on either side and do it like that. That's my recommendation. All right. The blade is in. It seems to be straight. I mean, the whole thing is wacky. The whole thing is out of place and, and warped and crazy. Why do I always get the warped one? Why do I? I always get the... If you can get that reference, you're my best friend. All right. And then we're going to lather up with this. Also, Willie sent synthetic brush. This is a Crave shaving brush. And he said it was like kind of like a bloody Halloween. It's kind of a sparkly reddish orangey. Somebody said it's pus and oh, uh, let's think of it as like I don't know cream and uh, this is a nice cocktail some some pleasant instead of blood and, and you know that kind of stuff so we're gonna lather up with that using the uh, Taylor Wool Bond Street tobacco leaf shaving cream which I also never use and then we're gonna follow off at the very end with good old Osage getting low getting low sage all right I took a shower I did my hair let's put some hot water up here you know, everybody seems to think that they want a took a shower, did my hair um, t-shirt or mug or something. So maybe I can make that happen if you really want that. <laughs> Let me know. Okay, let's lather up. This is a really stout handled uh, brush, synthetic knot. Like I said, doesn't have anything on the bottom. But uh, very, it's kind of heavy and, and bulky. So let's see how it lathers up. Yeah, it's, ooh, it's very stiff. It's like there's a lot of handle here. Interesting. I guess I've been used to the smaller ones where the knot slightly outweighs the, <laughs> the handle. Not outweighs, but you know what I mean? Like this one, I'm having a hard time getting a good feel for what I'm doing, but I think I'm getting too much because I keep forgetting. I always forget Taylor of Old Bond Street. A little goes a long way, so I'm afraid I've already gone too far with what I got. But we can always take away, start over. What I need is I could just wash all this out. I'm not going to. But yeah, I do have too much in here, so I am going to squeeze some of this out. <laughs> too much. God, it's like just the richest. Taylor Ball Bond Street, man. Rich, thick, creamy. And because I don't use it enough, I forget. A little goes a very, very long way. Your shaving experts can probably tell that I've got too much soap and not enough water on my face right now. So I want to try to balance that out. I'm, I'm pouring water on to kind of loosen it up a little bit. Sorry I'm lathering more than I like to. I don't want to be one of those YouTubers that lathers for 15 minutes before you start shaving. All right, let's try with that. 
Mmm. I swear, it's like dessert topping. It's a shaving cream. It's a dessert topping. It's a shaving. It's both. Don't eat your shaving cream, folks. I have to say this all the time. Don't drink the aftershave. Don't eat the shaving soap. Let's throw that away. All right. Phoenix shaving. What's it called again? The Alpha Ecliptic. Why is it called that? I don't know. But it's very light. It's made out of aluminum. Black. They also have a blue one, but it's sold out right now. And supposedly that shape is good for new wet shavers because it's kind of a guide to where you put your cheek, how to put it against your face. You don't have to think too much about it. So let's just see. <laughs> it's, it's, so, it's so weird as I'm looking in the mirror, I'm trying to figure out exactly how to twist it to get it straight because everything about it is like wonky. Uh, all right, there we go. Now, Phoenix Shaving described it as a medium uh, aggressiveness razor. I'm feeling a lot of blade. And it looks like there's a lot of blade in there. Can you see that gap? I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a lot of blade in a big gap. So that means aggression. So this feels really aggressive. I know that slant razors generally are more aggressive, but I've never haven't used that many of them. This one's definitely way beyond medium. I don't know. I don't know if the folks over at uh, Phoenix shaving are have tougher skin than I do, but man, I'm feeling a ton of blade. And I don't like feeling this much. This is getting very close to the Mula R41 feel, which I'm not a fan of. I like the more, uh, it's kind of like I'm not a Jeep guy because you can feel every bump in the road. You can feel the wind. You can hear the road noise. I'm more like a, a 1963 Lincoln Continental guy. I just want to float down the road like a rolling living room, just on a cloud. But some people want a Jeep, and that's great. Go for it. Now, let's see. This is always, I wouldn't say a deal breaker, but I need to be able to get unshave my upper lip easily without worrying about it. I did a pretty good job. Like, I was just doing straight down. It didn't get all these little you know, nostril hairs yet, but we'll get that in a minute. A lot of my other razors don't do that either. But yeah, a lot of blade feel. A lot of blade feel. It feels like the blade is just kind of floating in there. And I'm feeling more blade than, than razor head. You know what I mean? I think I need to go uh, carefully because I can tell this is... Let me go a little bit lighter. A little bit slower. You know, I wanted to get this razor out of the way. Because I just didn't like the way it looked. And I still don't like the way it looks. But you know what? So it's so ugly, it's beautiful almost. You know what I mean? I still don't think I'll use it ever again, but <laughs> this will be one of the ones I put in the bag to give away. Would you see that sparkle? Ding. Thumbnail. Here's a, another thought. I also think uh, when I was reading about this razor on their website, they went with the aluminum for the lightweight aspect of it and the strength, but I feel like I need a, a heavier feel to an aggressive blade. I would like this to be heavier because then you kind of get a, you know, a, a weight cue almost before like it, that you, it's going to be aggressive. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do I know? <laughs> Why are you watching me? I don't know anything. I don't know any more than you do. Maybe I know a few things just because I've got to use them, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Ah, uh, see, this is better. Now that I went through that first round of lathering and added a bunch more water, I gotta remember that. Taylor Old Bond Street. You don't need to use very much to get super rich, thick, fragrant. Now, I, I still don't understand, does this, is this what tobacco leaf smells like, like on its own? Like when you're not smoking it or something? Because it's kind of a, a sweet, slightly earthy, but not too much. Not to pull out that fancy French word fougere again, because I get kind of annoyed with it. But it might be something like that. I don't know. Oh, you hear that? Whew, that thing's slicing off some whiskers right there, boy. I tell you what, I'm gonna end up with a pretty smooth shave with this razor, so if that's your goal, and you uh, don't mind the aggression, and you like a lightweight razor, because this thing is effortlessly lightweight. Really, truly. 
And if you just take it, you know, with a light touch like I'm doing, you get right up, see how far, I, how close I can get to my nostrils without going sideways. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good. You know, normally I gotta do the little sideways thing to really get under there, and I will, but it didn't do too bad just going straight down. And, you know, shaving, you know, it's so subjective. Everybody's different. I mean, from one day to the next, you're, you're either in the mood or you're not. Sometimes you want to, you know, take the time out and lay all your equipment out and and all that stuff and really think about it. Sometimes you just want to get it over with, you know, so you don't want to have to think about all the different angles and stuff. It just depends on your mood, you know? Like today I'm getting to use some interesting stuff I haven't used. So thanks again, Willie. I'm going to be thanking you for, uh, for a while now because I got that whole box of stuff. You know, pull out. And I have a shout out actually. Now this happened. There's a young lady out there. Your father asked me to shout you out. Your birthday's April 7th. You just turned 11 years old. Happy birthday, Rachel. Why are you watching a 51-year-old man shave for? I don't know, but that's okay. That's okay. I got a kid that's around your age, so I know what it's like. So happy birthday, Rachel. Sorry I couldn't say happy birthday on your actual birthday. It was yesterday. So everybody, give a shout out to Rachel in the comments, if you would. And to her dad, too. Okay, so there's the second pass. And I'm still feeling, I can feel the blade, you know what I mean? It's not razor burn yet, but I can tell that the blade has been, you know, slicing across my skin. So I could stop now if I wanted to, but I don't want to, you know me. Let's go again with the, uh, the pumpkin blood. Pumpkin blood and cream. That's, I don't know. He said Halloween. This is Michael Myers shaving brush. It's called the Shape. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready for Halloween again. <laughs> I'm ready for fall. We're about to start hitting the heat here in Texas, and I'm already longing for the fall. Actually, no, that's not true. Got a lot of swimming and tubing to do this this summer. If we see you down in Schlitterbahn, down in New Braunfels, please come say hi. All right. Might even let you cut in line. Might. Let's go sideways for third pass. Extremely light. I'm just barely, barely touching my skin with this thing. Because I, oh, see, I got a little bit of a nick there. But I always have lots of little, you know, skin irregularities, as if you couldn't tell in whatever 1080 DPI I've got this out. I certainly don't have it at 4K. Because I don't have enough room on my phone anymore. I have to, Get a bigger phone. I mean, bigger one. Like, I want one that's like three feet by seven feet. So much storage capacity on that one. Okay. <laughs> Just that's dumb. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Can you hear that? That's super loud. That's why I do three passes, because I still have whiskers that are growing in a certain direction that I didn't get in the first two. So all of you that don't understand why I shave this many times. And I don't do this every single day, you know, like I didn't even shave at all yesterday. How embarrassing. Hmm. Let me show you what I found in Walgreens today. I was at Walgreens to pick up some supplies. Gosh, the, you know what? This The other thing I don't like about this head, it is too big. I can't see what the heck, I, I can't see past it. I was looking in the mirror trying to see if I was getting the blade near where I wanted it to, but the head is so dang big. <laughs> yeah, this is not the razor for me, folks, but uh, thanks for letting me try it and I'll uh, send it on to somebody. I still want to set up like a... Uh, like set up in the back of some nice outdoor bar somewhere on a beautiful spring summer day and set up the table and just give away stuff to people that come up. <laughs> it's not gonna be a grab bag. I'll look at you and I'll say, hmm, I think you could use this one. You look like you're ready. Everybody else will just give them the Vander Hoggins and the... 
little cheapies. Okay, ooh, yeah, that's not pleasant. Going against the grain of that third one, that wasn't pleasant right there, I got a little tug. So yeah, not the razor for me. Uh, I don't recommend it, but uh, you know, everybody's different. 70 bucks, it's not chicken feed. If it was like, you know, I don't know, 20 bucks, you could get it just as a novelty, but uh, there's a million other razors out there you could use, you can try. There, I'm sure there are some people, this is their favorite razor ever, but just not for me. But I'm glad to have the opportunity to try it out. Let me see here. I'm gonna get that spot that bugged me just a second ago. Okay, got no one to stop. Now I can feel the tingle that I, uh, that's the indication that I am overblading. What did I find in Walgreens? Coming back to that, Barbasol, right? I'm, I'm always using Barbasol, always. I have to move these out of the way to film. Look what I found. Barbasol, fragrance free. Fragrance, it's gray. Family size, what? Fragrance, is that new? Because there was only two of them. Let's look how tall that is. Ooh, they're getting taller, but they're changing shape. <laughs> so this is 10 ounces, the big fat one, and this is 10 and a half ounces, it's just tall and skinny. But anyway, what do you think of that? Fragrance free. I don't know. I'm not gonna try it today. We'll try it coming up soon, but I had to buy it, my goodness. I can't see a brand new Barbasol product and not buy it. Okay. So as soon as you guys release that electric car that you're working on, <laughs> the Barbasol electric car, move over Tesla. Gonna shave off a few grand. Maybe you can use that if you want to for free. Okay. Let's try off with some Osage rub up there. Uh, see if that nick down here stopped of its own accord, hopefully, and then I'll clean up all this stuff. I, I seem to have gotten a lot of extra water all over the counter down here because I was trying to get some of that soap out that I overdid. All right, Osage rub. Find it at a uh, local variety store near you. Oh man, oh. Oh, that takes me back, the smell, because I don't use it that often anymore. It takes me back to the early days, 2000, whatever. 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I've been doing this for 11 years. Are you kidding me? That's almost 11 years. Woo, tingle, baby. All right, so that's it. That is the Alpha Ecliptic from Phoenix Shaving, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, $70. Um, it's not for me, but maybe it's for you. And just the, that's so weird. Just the shape of it. One side looks like that, looks like a normal razor, and then flip it around. Got excited all of a sudden. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. That's terrible. Have a great weekend. It is the weekend, right? Yeah, okay, good. Happy birthday again to Rachel, turning 11, and thanks to everybody who watches and comments. I read every single one of them. And uh, thanks for reaching out. I had a great email and text message this week with a young man uh, who's going through some tough times, but he seemed pretty strong. He's got a good support, uh, support uh, uh, structure out there, his family. So that's good. So thinking about you and all of you, have a great day. All right. See you soon.